Pakistan fell into chaos. Former Prime Minister uh, Imran Khan got arrested by the government, police, and army together made a big issue in Pakistan. People rushed into the streets to take protest demonstration, and there are fires, conflict happened between the people and the army and the police. This is a new round of political crisis in Pakistan. However, at the back of this crisis, it's a broken economy of this country. This 200 million uh, Asia countries has a very tight economic relationship with China. China uh, sent out, uh, put out its uh, so-called Belt and Road or One Belt, One Road initiative to Pakistan. Many projects in Pakistan. However, Pakistan has never been rich, get rich or flourished by one belt, one road from China. Instead, Pakistan fell into debts like other countries, any other countries like African countries or Middle Asian countries or Middle East countries. Any countries has China's belt and road investment like Sri, Sri Lanka. Any countries get into a debt trap. So that means wherever the belt and road goes, wherever get into new poverty. This is a vicious cycle. China's belt and road never get any country benefit or rich, only get that country in deep debt or poverty, get into poor. So come back to say Pakistan, it's clear. Economic broken are uh, made by many reasons of uh, belt and road, then has a political crisis. So there is a lot of crashes, clashes, and conflicts in this country. And uh, Pakistan is also a labor country of China and also one of the few ally, allies of China at some extent. So Pakistan also has a tie with the United States and also has a uh, close tie with Afghanistan, Taliban. But this country getting this big chaos, mainly from Beijing, from China, from Xi Jinping's policy, built and road. Thank you for watching. I would like to see you next time. Please subscribe and uh, like my channel. Thank you.